a lot of times JavaScript could actually be very, very irritating and very, very funny at the same time. So here's a list of five fun JavaScript questions, which I think would trigger your mind a lot to think in the JavaScript way. And let's see if you can answer them. So in this video, I'll just explain the questions. And in the next one, we'll see the answers for all of them. So starting off from question number one, you can see there's this function. I want to know what would happen when I call this function. Uh, there's a try catch block inside this function with a finally block as well. So if you don't know finally, uh, you can actually have try catch uh, individually. You can also add finally, which runs irrespective of try and catch. So I throw an error in try. I throw an error in catch as well. And then finally I return. So when I call this function, what exactly would happen? Leave your answer in the comments below. Tell me what you think would happen for question number one. Coming to question number two, uh, we have this function. Tell me in the comments below, what do you think would be the console log for the statement? In the answer one, I'm comparing uh, one in an array with one in an array using double equal to. And in answer two, I'm comparing the same thing, one in an array with one in an array with triple equal to. Tell me the answer in the comments below. What would be the console log and why would it be? For question number three, um, we have this particular code segment, such scope much wow. For example, I have this for loop right here and for loop right here. In the comments below, let me know what would be the output of these to set timeouts and why would that be the case and just think about them answer them in the comments and uh, yeah tell me why the answer would be what you think it would be and for question number four we have the careful functions and you have uh, arguments as an array of 5 10 15 and new args is args.map map is a function in javascript which takes an array and uh, you know calls the given function with the arguments inside that particular array and then finally i console log the new arguments right question number five is a tricky one so tell me what would be the output for this obviously without executing it and why do you think that would be right so math.max is a function which returns the maximum of two numbers so if i have like six and eight here then it would return me eight but what happens if I call it without um, anything, right? Just like that. What would happen? Similarly for math.min, what should be the console log? And finally, the bonus question for you guys. Uh, what do you think would be the output for each of these statements? Let me know in the comments below what do you think is the answer for all of these five questions and a bonus question for JavaScript. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you with the answers in the next one. You can check the description for the link to the next video. That's all for this one and let's see some answers to this question.